So we're gonna start this off a little mildly, let's just say the least. It's been nearly a year, you guys. The last hot thing we done was the gum, and that we about. I was ready up. to sign off forever because of that gum. <laughs> But you know, it's tradition for me and Sean to at least once a year we gotta do something hot, right? And we were both like, we were in Gatlinburg and we were like, let's stop by the heat shop, I call it. Well, we got that and we also have ghost pepper gummies. We got these from Dollywood. This is called Corn Ferno, if that tells you anything. Can I say just for a second that it's good to be sitting at a table again filming? Yeah. Like, this is like, some of you <laughs> old school know, like, that's what our channel started out yeah. as. And then it kind of adapted into the vlogs or whatever, and I feel like we're crooked. But we were never vloggers, you guys. We are still going to do the vlogs, but, you know, we love our sit-down videos. Podcasts coming soon. Some really interesting subjects that we wouldn't normally talk about. I'm sure y'all going to love that. We're just waiting on the mics and the mixing board, because... You know, we want that crisp, good sounding audio, and I know we're crooked now. And I'll give you a hint. Since it's October and we're starting the podcast in October, we might dive deep into some Appalachian folklore. Like um, the thing that we don't talk about that I don't even know what it's called because nobody talks about it. They just say the thing that you don't say its name and you don't talk about it. When you're in the woods at night, you don't say its name. You ain't even supposed to say it outside. Like, that's why they have these old straw brooms. Maybe that's why there. nobody knows its name because you're not supposed to say its name. Have they forgot? But no joke, I'm excited about this. I, who don't love a good backwoods, deep woods, Appalachian scary story? Not to mention, who don't like seeing us torture ourselves? Listen, you do that again like that, I mean, you're going to have issues. Okay. I've got it. Obviously, this one's pretty simple. Ghost pepper gummy. I'm still going to look and see if they snuck anything else in there. No, it's just ghost pepper. <sighs> now, here's another thing. You know, drop in the comments. Like, what would you, what podcast topics would you like to see from us? Yeah, they don't want to open. Basically. Now, let us go ahead and say this. There will be nothing political. This is just going to be us talking about life stories, certain subject, Appalachian you know what, folklore. You know what we need to talk about? You handed me a fancy yeah. pair of scissors you brought up here. Listen, I'm rusty. It's been a year, okay? It's been a year. Y'all, me and Sean, like, this is what we used to be. I know y'all love the kids now and everything. I'm so thankful for that. Not now. I not, still. Not to mention with the kids. Now, we, we're thinking about revisiting the, we talked about it last night, the Bean Boozle Challenge because Chloe hasn't tried it yet. No, she hasn't. And Colton's a lot more animated now than what he was. And Chloe is pure animation. That child, yeah, she's pure that animation. That smells good. Well, I can't even get in mine to know. Fort Knox. Ooh, it does smell good. <sighs> that, is one, that is one big gummy. But it smells delicious. It don't even smell spicy, which it feels kind of freaks me out, which Habanero, I, I can eat those. They're they're not that bad. But like this, I think is gonna have that sneaky heat because <laughs> it smells so good. It smells like a really good Listen, cherry. I'm chopping mine up in pieces because that is hard. That smells like a really good cherry. Well, it's like that. I'll uh, never get it chewed up. It's just like that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll never get what that was chewed it? up. The, what was it that we got? It goes back to oh, my accident. Oh, the pickle. The pickle. It, it's, it's the texture of the pickle. It goes back to my accident. My jaw muscles are not that great. So chewing this gummy up ain't going to happen. That's super hard. Oh, I see the spice in it. I don't know if y'all be able to see that or not. Okay. You see it? Okay, Sean, quit slacking. My nerves are like, let's get this going. You can see the spices in it. Get this going. We're just getting started. We're just getting warmed up. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm like, you know, it's been a minute. I feel like, what, how do you say it? Like, that cheerleader that's been out of the game for a year, getting back in the gig. We've tried everything hot it's in the world. So we good. have not done the new one chip challenge yet, but uh, everything else we have done. So I'm hoping this ghost pepper is a breeze, but then we got to step it up to this stuff. Now that's got I, some hot stuff in it. We, 
We was gonna do one, but listen, we ain't got no milk in, please. I know somebody's gonna comment, you know, try this, try that. Nothing if, helps y'all. If you have never eat this, this hot, level hot of heat, then you're not, not going to. Not the ghost to. pepper necessarily. No, I'm just talking about when it gets into the, like, reaper, the up. reaper up. Like, it doesn't help. Nothing I've tried helps. honey, we've tried Bread, lemon juice, sugar. Milk. Oh, we've tried it all. Hot coffee. Ice on your mouth without moving for 20 minutes. That's what But then as soon as you spit the ice out, it gets You're... like a thousand times worse because... than what it was before the <laughs> ice. So it's I mean, cold. I don't know. Are you like weaning out on me or what? You've been talking more than I am, and you just kept talking, so I started talking, so. All right. There you go. I thought he's really good. Mm, I did really good, but who? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go on spice, yeah. You ain't got no spice yet? Mm -mm. I've got heat. There it is. Ain't bad. That's warm. Uh, very chewy. Very chewy. I knew I'd never get that whole thing chewed up. Ain't no way. It's the texture of those uh, Haribo gummy bears. Gummy bag! That's weak. It tastes good, though. It tastes really good. <gasps> if you like spice and cherry, that would be the gummy for you. I mean, my mouth is, I got a lot of saliva going on. I mean, it's ghost pepper. To a normal person that hasn't eat probably everything hot on the planet, would, this might be hot, but. No, this is a. This is bearable. It's a jalapeno hot. That's the way I can describe it best. Yeah, it's jalapeno hot. Maybe for us though. Some people are not into spicy stuff and I get it. I get it. That gum, it's been a year since we picked up something hot. Now, once we do this podcast, y'all notice we have one camera, two cameras, but we're going to have a third camera on her. I just don't have the tripods right now to actually put three. Man, that looks crooked, too. Is that not cute, y'all? Here is where the problem lies. This is in that building we was using as the shop. Yeah. Well, the building is not 100% level, so once you level the camera, the building's out of whack. You get it to where the building looks fine, then you're out of whack. So it's it's kind of a catch-22. I mean, you can see the difference in this sign right here. There's like a, a more or more and less. I'm really surprised. That's good. Good gummy. Y'all bring Pigeon Forge, go to the hot shop, the heat shop, pepper shop. It's called the Pepper Palace. I, and the guy that worked there, you guys, me and Sean, really cool. we sat and laughed with him for a good 20 minutes because there was a kid that come in as soon as we got there and he was like, can, can I try some of that? And the guy's like, sure. You, that he had, you know, they got test things. And he's like, sure. He's like, was it hot? And we're like, uh, yeah, it's really hot. So anyhow, the kid ended up leaving and we just got talking to the guy that worked at the Pepper Palace and me and him and Sean sat there and laughed forever because we'd been telling him all of our own stories about all the videos, all the hot stuff we've done. He was, it's really nice to meet him. The one boy that was about to eat the, he was about the to eat the hottest thing they had. <laughs> I was like standing there and I had my hand in my pocket and I was waiting for him to put it on his tongue and I was gonna be so like. I was, I was too, I was standing back with my bag like this and I was, I was going to, I, you know, of course, I said, hey, is it okay if we post this? But it, he ended up talking as he said, well, I'm gonna go somewhere and then I'll come back. He talked himself out of it. Smart, smart kid, by the way. Cause I oh, I was him. putting the cables on it. <laughs> I was. I was like, it's not that bad. It'll go away in, you know, 15 that minutes or so. It's not that bad. Yeah, right. Yeah, the guy that works there, he probably has the best job ever because people come in and sampling and that stuff thinking it's never going to be that hot. And it always is way hotter. Oh, he said that's his favorite part. He said yeah. he won't touch it, but said he sure likes talking people into it. It sounds like me. <laughs> yeah. But I'll touch it. But anyway, here we're going to try this. Oh, corn. Fair Why does everything I see have corn syrup in it? I don't know. Is corn Ferno, the hottest just... popcorn in the world. Well, we've eaten the hottest everything in the world. So. Well, it, the, the popcorn we had was Carolina Reaper popcorn. So, this has quite a few peppers on it. It smells really good. Oh, wow. That does smell really good. It will entice you to eat a bunch of it, but I will not. I will not. One piece. I'm going to see how it goes. <coughs> now listen. Instead of taking a drink, we're going to try to hold out for three minutes at least. Me, y'all, I ain't never done it. I've eaten all the hot stuff. Well, this ain't nothing but like ghost pepper, so it shouldn't be hotter than what we've done and tried. Uh, habanero, ghost pepper. Habanero is really weak. All right, we're going to do three pieces each. I'm going to do two because that's them's big, big old pieces. 
Them big pieces. They good looking pop. I'm about to lose it. We're gonna play a little game to get my mind off of things. I okay. don't think this is gonna be hot enough to play that game. Maybe we need to wait to do that with the garlic. We'll just see. Because we got the we world's again, hottest garlic. I can always come up. It's got Dougla and Reaper and Bootla and everything in it. It's brutal. The, the garlic, I'm, I'm nervous about. But we ain't got no milk or ice cream either one, so I was like, maybe we ought to hold off on that. And get now listen, I'm just going to be truthful with y'all. I can't swallow this stuff anymore. My gut cannot handle it. Be chewing it up for a few seconds, spitting it out. Regardless, you're getting the heat. All you get when you swallow it is the chili cramps hours later and, you know, <laughs> like poop and fire. Look My good, stomach just can't gut it anymore. I've done too much hot stuff over the years. Warning, this is blanking hot. One, two, three, go! Not getting anything yet. Good. There's no heat. Oh, I'm not getting it. Oh, This is why I hate popcorn. That's not hot. No, that's not hot. What in the world? That's a lie. You live on a throne of lies. Well, I mean, well, what is in it? Ghost paper? Just ghost paper and habanero. Okay. It's just because we're, we're probes at eating hot stuff. All right. Well, that might have been a little bit of a letdown. She went to the dentist and got gummed. Come on, Sean. Give me one. Just give me one. Listen, I'm not playing this game because you've already got You can't. No, give me one. It's because you me and your one. sister do it all the time. You're going to just reuse what you've used with her. And just... She's the one that come up with that one. She went to the dentist. Me and my sister do these battles on Messenger all the time at night when we're laying in the bed. That was slow. It's got a little bit of a burn coming up now. A, li a slight one. I'm proud of myself, though. I haven't took a drink of nothing yet. It's got a little bit of a burn coming up now. That was slow. It's like if you went to Wendy's and got one of them. That has to be the habanero. It's like, it's that little bit of a head sweat on the back, but it's not like heat you can't take. Yeah. It's that kind when you take a breath. It Like the whole roundabout of my tongue. That's it. Considering these were like nothing, the garlic does have me worried because that has got like six of the hottest peppers in the world. Well, it's got that flatline extract on it's it. It's got flatline extract, which is... How many? Nine million? Just no, the flat line? I think six million. Yeah, the flat line extract itself is six million. Then you got the Reaper, the Bootla. No, the flat line is the Reaper and Bootla. It's the, if they make a puree of all the peppers and they mix it together. Oh, you're such a know-it-all. Mm. I listened to the boy at the Pepper Palace explain it to the guy that was about to eat it. <laughs> That's how I figured it That's out. That's where your knowledge came from. It's not because you're smarter than me. But anyhow. Smarts is paying attention to your environment around you and in, in taking the knowledge. Oh, God. Okay, it was a little spicy. It's a little spicy on your tongue. I think I'm going to win the garlic challenge. <sighs> I ain't done this stuff in a while. Listen, I'm still shell-shocked after that gum. That gum. I thought my the inside of my mouth was burned. But back to the podcast, you guys. We are going to get into <gasps> some more personal life stories. Some y'all know nothing about. Uh, we are going to get into, like I said, the Appalachian folklore with real eyewitness testimonies. I've been watching a documentary <coughs> about one of them, and I'm super excited. You know, you got to do research just to make sure you got your facts straight when you go online talking about stuff. Because, boy, people will come out of the woodworks to correct you like that. People will come out of the work, woodworks to correct you when you're right. To cross your T's and dot your I's. I I'm telling you. I'm not one of them people because we've had to deal with that stuff for so long. So I just keep scrolling. It's just a lot easier. But, uh, yeah, we're going to, since only because it is October, we're going to start out with the Appalachian folklore stories. And I'm super excited. Y'all know we're from Kentucky. We live deep in the Appalachian Mountains. And they run through a couple different states. So it's not just going to be Kentucky isolated stories. You'll have Tennessee, Virginia. You know, you'll have a few other stories from other places as well. So I'm excited about that. And then, like I said, live stories. And then you guys give us some ideas. What do y'all want to hear us talk about? Some things, you know, give my pot back. And you ain't he, drinking it. He wouldn't. Honey, I'm, I'm going to win the garlic. And whatever happens to the loser, 
well, we'll decide that then, but the loser's got to do something. And I got a feeling y'all going to lose. Listen. But listen. I can go longer on extreme heat than you can without drinking. Oh, well, this is going to go. Because, Sean, you know, our, see how we... This room is a lot smaller than what it looks like. Yeah, it it's is. only seven foot wide, so this table is all the way against the wall, and we're still like. This room, <laughs> it, the vibe is so nice, though. It's very relaxing. I've worked on this for a while. Yeah, I do want to get us a plant, you know, for the podcast area and stuff too. We want it to be real zen and relaxing. Like, come hang out with us tw for twenty minutes and listen to us talk. No, this building is the same building we had used as the shop. We have this no is nothing but plywood walls with a sticker over top of it. And I'd never done anything like that. I think I'd done okay. Yeah, he did a really good job. He was in here for a couple of days doing it. But he came over to the house and he's like, I think I sprayed way too much of that glue adhesive. He started getting dizzy. I was in here. I had the doors and windows open and a fan and everything. But I was spraying that spray adhesive to make sure this stuff stayed. Because contact paper's not got the best reputation. Need to be a... I sprayed the spray glue on and then I was standing there and I started laughing at myself and I was like, okay, I'm in trouble. I got to get out of here. <laughs> Y'all, says attention, all disputes settled by paper, rock, scissors. This one says caution, childish adult at play. But of course, very proud moment for us. We had to put that in the background because, you know, it took us years to get that proud of it. Y'all, when you got two toddlers, there comes a... Extra level of challenge, and it makes it hard to vlog. That's no joke. So we are still going to do the vlogs, but... It's, it's not because of them. They are both... Colton's three, Chloe's one and a half. They're both at that where it's mom, 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 dad, dad, hey, hey, mom, 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 mom. Like, look at me, your attention on me all day. And then when we don't do that, you know, Chloe's cutting her last two molars here right now. Vlogging at this point is rough right now. So we are still going to vlog. If we get eight super good detailed vlogs a month up, I'll be happy. Until they grow out of this phase. You know, eventually they will. Well, but right now we have two wild babies and they demand a lot. Well, they're in the phase of when they see us pull that camera out yeah. and we start talking to it, they want the attention. Yeah. And it just, it they know. it super hard on us and them. So yeah. I don't want to put them in a situation just to get a vlog. So if you guys love us supporting us, this is how, you know, a lot of it's going to be still going to be a lot of vlogs, but then we are going to do some stuff where we bring the kids in. Yeah. Like, Maybe do the sour, something super sour with the kids or, you know, the bean boozle challenge, something gross. That... I'm thinking about getting the Universal Yums box back. I don't know. I liked that. it. It does have a lot of sweets in it. But, I mean, just to sample try the stuff. But the kid, Colton used to love doing those with us. So, but Chloe can try them now, too. Chloe is so expressive. You guys, she is saying, repeating everything we say now. She's about to be full-blown talking. And it's hilarious. And Colton is learning a lot of words from her, too. It's crazy. He has started talking a lot more. So, that's cool. There will still be vlogs. Do not fret. that We will still be doing vlogs. And cooking videos and all that stuff. Well, but the thing is, too, we also said, always say, stay true to your roots. And this is our this roots. This is our roots. <laughs> yeah. A lot of you newer people don't understand that. But if you go back, which a lot of the videos are private because... We're different people now. We were wild, but not wild, like, you know, we just, we, we might have cussed a little we bit. We had no lot. filter. We had no filter. But if you really go back to the beginning of our channel and watch it all the way through, you will see so much growth. And so, well, we began. that's why we started this. That was our mission yeah. was to, you know, just show normal family life. And we're still trying to do we're that still trying the best to do we that. can. I think we'll always be trying to do that. We, we are not perfect. We're not vloggers. We do try our best. I think Sean's editing skills over the last few years have absolutely blossomed. B-roll, you know, is so much better in our videos. We're getting there, but it's a work in progress. But this is definitely... Pre-kids, this was me and Sean. Back before our children, we uploaded seven days a week. We never missed a day. One oh. solid year, we did not skip one day. Well, it was like a year and a half. We we didn't miss a day. And Every like I said, a lot video of those videos up. are private because it's just stuff we don't, you know. But we, you know, we had Colton. We became business owners, and that consumed. Then we had Chloe. 
you know, and that now we've got four social medias we have to run for full time, a business, two kids. So right now, it's just that super busy phase in our lives. And sometimes these videos tend to be easier. I know a lot of you guys came over because of the vlogs. No a lot of y'all come because of the Bigfoot Chronicles yeah, too. And that too. Right now, speaking, the wait. bears are everywhere in the woods, and I really don't like bears. Yeah, it's not a good time. I, some of you may not know, me and Sean were on Paranormal Caught on Tape on television because of the sound that we caught on camera. Back to the Appalachian folklore in the podcast, we'll have our own little story to really tell. I don't think we ever sat down and went into detail that day, like with the dogs and everything later that night. A lot don't happen here, but Jeremiah still has, you know, he's living in that trailer and he's had some weird experiences down there. But the other day, I was sitting outside. I was down at the shop. I walked outside, got in the truck to get my phone to call Megan, and Jeremiah was in at work. His dog was in the kennel, but I hear somebody literally walk all the way through the trailer into the living room, stomp back, and then a big thud about halfway through the hallway. Nobody was home. He was gone, dog was in the kennel, but somebody was walking in that house. See, here's the thing with me. I don't ever really have experiences like that inside. Mine are always outside. We'll get into the podcast. We'll get into stuff like that. All right, guys. We love y'all. And until the next time, stay positive, y'all. Stay country. And stay true to your roots. And we'll see y'all. Wait a minute. Why? It feels good to be back. Doesn't it? It feels good to be back. Oh, mom and dad here now. Used to be two wild turkeys. Now it's mom and dad back here, plus two wild turkeys. She's rambling. Love you guys.